Everyone knows computer science is one of the most popular majors right now, no matter how saturated people may say it is. So whether you want to build a next ChatGPT or just get your foot in the door of a big tech company, US is still the place to do your computer science degree. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the best colleges in the US and also a few budget-friendly and value-for-money options. In this video, since we're looking at computer science majors specifically, if you'd like me to cover other majors like mechanical, biomedical, or biotechnology, for example, put that in the comment below and let me know which major and we'll do that one next. The best colleges in the US for undergrad programs are going to be the most selective. So it's not a shock that their acceptance rate is anywhere between four to 7%. So single digit, some of them even less than 5%. They come with a pretty huge tuition fee of around $65,000 per year. But at the same time, I feel like it's value for money. Now these allow you to specialize in cutting edge AI development courses and natural language programming and basically everything that's in the forefront for computer science. They do offer need-based financial aid in most cases. So if your family is dependent and not extremely well off financially, you don't have to worry about money. The only thing is you have to have a stellar profile to actually get accepted into these colleges. And we're talking about Stanford, Carnegie Mellon and MIT. But since not all of us are superhuman, it's not possible for us to get into these extremely single digit acceptance rate universities. So we're gonna take a look at some budget friendly options as well. The first one on our list for prospective undergrad students is CUNY Hunter College, which is located in New York City and has an acceptance rate of 55%, which is not bad at all. Now the tuition fee for this college is around $15,000 without any aid which is a very good number to be at. Some of the majors that the college offers includes software development, data science, and cybersecurity. And the best part is, even with that $15,000 tuition fee, they do have some merit-based awards open to international students as well. The next best value for money college on our list is University of Texas, Dallas, with an acceptance rate of 35%. Now, needless to say, because this university is located in Texas, the cost of living and other expenses are already going to be significantly lower, which helps out a lot of families financially. Although the tuition fee is a little on the heavier side at around $40,000, they do offer generous amounts of merit-based awards for international students and even an AES scholarship that covers up to the full tuition fee. The next one is SUNY Stony Brook University, another one in New York State with an acceptance rate of about 45%. For the tuition fee, we're looking at $28,000 per year and they do have some merit-based options for scholarships open to both domestic and international students. With majors, they are popular for cybersecurity, data science, and software engineering. So we've seen that these three are a mix for what most computer science students opt for because this is what tech is focused on right now. So with these cutting edge skills, you'll be able to land you know, jobs in the tech industry after you graduate as well. Although I mentioned three best for value money universities, obviously there are so many more and finding these universities and navigating your way around the application process can be really overwhelming. So having the right guidance can really be helpful because you only get one shot at this. And if you mess up, you'll have to regret by either going to a university where you're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars or potentially a lower tier university, which is why I'd like you guys to check out the Road to Success Mentorship Program, which is open once a year and only enrolls eight students. So once these eight spots are filled, the program is closed for that particular year. In the past, the mentorship program has yielded successful results with students getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in aid and scholarship. And I've even worked with a student who got into Notre Dame University with a 90% scholarship in electrical engineering as an international student. Now this program runs for one month with only live Zoom classes. So you'll be working one-on-one -on -one with a mentor and tackle everything all the way from college, college list building to your application process, essays, activity workshop, resume and portfolio building, and even your scholarship application process. So all of this is covered and you have someone to guide you all the way. Now the applications for this and the link is gonna be in the description below, so check it out. So moving on to computer science programs for master's students, it's no shock, but there is a huge number of students that actually come for a master's program as opposed to an undergrad program, especially in the international student population. 
our top colleges pretty much more or less remain the same, but this time there's just a slight fluctuation. So we have Stanford, UC Berkeley, and Carnegie Mellon with the top rank programs. The acceptance rates for these are somewhere around 10%, so a little higher than the undergrad, which is largely due to the fact that less students apply and opt for these master's programs overall. The tuition fee we're looking at is still around the same, so around $50,000, $60,000 per year. And there are limited financial aid options available. In some cases, these students are able to get some TA or RA positions to help support them through like a monthly stipend, but in no way is this enough to cover the whole amount. These assistantships usually are given preference to PhD students, but when it comes to master's students, only a few select master's programs are actually eligible for these assistantships. So before you apply, you need to make sure that the type of master's program you're applying to does fit in this criteria. So you do need to be prepared to either get some personal savings for this education or potentially an education loan. So the best for value universities, because let's face it, these universities at the 10% acceptance rate is not something that everybody can get into and you should have better options in your list as well. The first one we're looking at is Georgia Institute of Technology, which has an acceptance rate of around 18%, but a tuition fee which is pretty competitive at $28,000. Now they do offer some amount of merit scholarships, but you do have to be prepared for a very competitive application process because this is a very popular university, especially for computer science graduates. Next, we have University of Texas Austin with a 15% acceptance rate and around $25,000 per year of tuition fee. Again, because it's in Texas, the cost of living and other expenses may be slightly lower. So that puts you at a pretty good advantage and an up and coming industrial physical area. Third one is the University of Wisconsin-Madison at around 22% acceptance rate and $25,000 tuition fee. There are some TA positions and merit-based aid available, but again, it is very competitive as well. The last one on our list is University of Florida at around 40, 50% acceptance rate with the best chances and a tuition fee of about $13,000 per year, which is the lowest that we've seen up until this point. Now with this, they even offer some TA and RA positions to a select number of students. Now all of these universities that are your best return on investment have the same specializations that we've seen before with AI, machine learning, software engineering, and cybersecurity. The overall application process can be very overwhelming, especially because getting scholarship is step number two. The first step into the whole process is getting accepted by the university. And this won't happen if your application isn't strong enough. So if you're someone who's looking for an organized place, a student dashboard where you have everything in a step-by-step -step manner on how you need to tackle the whole admissions process, check out the Ivy League 101 course where you have modules, chapters, and recorded videos showing you exactly what you need to do all the way from shortlisting colleges to applying for colleges as well as the whole financial aid and scholarship process and how to navigate through that. The waitlist is now open and it's gonna be the first link in the description, so check it out. So that's all I had for this video. If you found it helpful, again, let me know if you want me to cover any other majors in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.